It's been proven that stroking a dog or cat can lower one's blood pressure and ease the stresses of the day. It's a theory that Pacific Animal Therapy Society certainly believes in. Here's V. Cooper. You're a pretty cat. Yes. Once a month, the residents at Rest Haven Lodge have a visit from volunteers at PATS, Pacific Animal Therapy Society, and their four-legged furry friends. There's over 370 volunteers all over the island, right from Campbell River, right down here, and the odd one too in Vancouver. We have over 90 hospitals, you know, nursing homes. She pulls this all the time at home. It's unconditional affection that means so much. A lot of residents that can't talk, as soon as they see the dog, they become more animated, and maybe they don't verbalize so much, but you'll see the hands going out to pet them and the smiles. So many people who have to move into long-term care facilities, they have to give up their animals when they move in and just last week a lady said to me I never thought I'd feel the weight of a cat in my lap again. Sadie Guy started Pats in 1988 when she retired from nursing. She'd always noticed how much it meant to patients if anyone visited with their pet. Gentleman was just sitting there really all oh, half asleep and as soon as we, we took in the dog uh, he's up and oh he's so happy. It's one of the highlights of the month. It's a highlight for Pats volunteers too. I was a nurse here for years and uh, can see the benefits of the program. Joy on people's faces, comfort. Christine Ash's dog visits in full biker gear. This dog rides my Harley with me. She sits in a tank bag on the gas tank, loves it. And the dogs love their pets' visits too. I just bring out this bandana and she just, oh, oh, we're going somewhere, we're going somewhere. Going somewhere to brighten someone's day. Vital People is brought to you by the Victoria Foundation, connecting people who care with causes that matter.